Kitchen Capers. Today I just want to talk briefly with you about buying organic. Do you buy organic or do you buy from the supermarket and buy fresh produce from there? I just want to challenge you this week to look up one of your local farmers markets and go and visit, talk to your local farmers and buy a little bit of their produce. It's usually picked the day before you buy it. I can't say I can say that about the supermarket chains. Some stuff that's been imported from the States or from Mexico, you don't know how long it's been refrigerated for, how far it's come, or more importantly, what it's been treated with to make it last that long, to stop it from rotting in the process. And, that, and just talking about organics, if you've followed me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see that I've had a few posts recently about bees. Bees have recently been put on the endangered list in the States and there are actually, I think, seven varieties of bees that are now classed as endangered. And I think that's pretty scary. Um, one of the things that I've found out and one of the things that is wiping out bee colonies is the treat or is, is the treatment of crops with these insecticides and fungicides. Now, what happens is the bees go to pollinate the plants, they absorb this, these insecticides into their system, which causes, it actually goes and causes problems with their central nervous system, which cause the, causes them navigational issues. And even when they do get back to the hive, they're then spreading that insecticide throughout the hive and it can actually kill off the hive itself. So my question to you is this, so if, it's, if these insecticides are doing this to bees, what is it doing to us as human beings? It worries me that the accumulative effect of eating fruit and vegetables that are covered with these products, you know, maybe that's some of the answers with some of the diseases that are around the world. We, we have no idea of the long-term effect of some of these things that they're spraying our crops with. What do you think of buying organic? Drop me a line, leave me a comment in the box below and let me know what you think about buying organic. And tune in next week because I'll be talking about, if you, if you find that organics are just too expensive for you, next week I'll be talking about the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen. So these are fruit and vegetables that the Clean 15 are ones that don't absorb as many of these insecticides and the Dirty Dozens are the ones to really avoid and which absorb the most. So check in with me next week and I'll share that information with you. Thanks for watching me today and I'd love you to check out my recipes on YouTube at Joe's Kitchen Capers. You can catch me on Facebook and on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.